Hello and welcome to our new episode of Motic Chats, where we talk about everything related to microscopy. My name is Philip. And my name is Chiara, and we are the host of this video series. Today, Philip and I will be discussing how to easily upgrade your traditional microscope with just the use of a Multicam. That's right. In the previous episode, we analyzed the digitalization of microscopes. But what about traditional ones? Can we pimp them up? Let's find out. And here we are. First of all, if I asked you to best describe a microscope camera, what would you say? Um, I think I would say that these are devices that allow you to capture images uh, from a sample directly from the microscope. That's correct, but not only. You can take videos, measurements and investigate your samples live without having to see through the microscope itself. That sounds really good and that can make a massive difference into digitalizing our traditional microscopes then, I guess? Exactly. So Philip, can you tell me please what are some of the ways that we can digitalize our images from a camera? That's actually a really interesting topic, right? Um, you can, of course, DIY your microscope into the realm of digital images by simply using your phone camera and put it on the eyepiece or the oculars, right? Really? That sounds so easy and so intuitive, to be honest. It, and is that it? Yeah, the, the quality isn't great. Um, and you have to use maybe tape to... Um, isolate the eyepiece and the phone camera from like extra light. Don't tell me this, Philip, because I love doing some DIY and you'll just see me duct taping my phone into the camera. No, I'm joking. <laughs> so, but, so if you can use it with your phone, then you can surely use it with like a digital camera or a video yeah. camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can use a DSLR camera. Um, with an adapter, there are some on the market, right? Um, but it looks really bulky, right? You have this DSLR on the microscope, like... Massive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, that sounds really impressive though, because I guess it would be incredibly interesting to film something. I don't know if there's been cases where we've had uh, something cool filmed directly from the microscope for like a film or a documentary, I don't know. That's really funny because um, I, I heard of a case um, where a f movie documentary maker, I don't know, um, asked us how he can put his uh, really expensive big cinema grade video camera on one of our microscopes to record in 4K. Um, so there was like, what kind of adapters should we use? How is it possible? What uh, like all the data in between, like how to make it like perfect. It just seems so impressive thinking that a whole film or a, like a long uh, video, uh, let's say, can be filmed directly from the camera. I think it's incredibly cool. Yeah. For that purpose, Philip, I happen to have here some boxes of Moticams, right? So could you tell me what the let's say the advantage of using a moticum as opposed i mean i guess i can already see an advantage not having to duct tape your phone to a microscope but um can you tell me more or less what are the differences and what are the improvements that a camera like a moticum can give you microscope cameras are the recommended devices yeah so the scientists and doctors and teachers etc um, can be way more flexible um, what they choose for the right application. Yeah, so like, I guess different, I don't know, resolution or different kinds of connection. I'm thinking I can see like some of the examples I have here are HDMI cameras, other are Wi-Fi. So but what I'm thinking is how difficult is it to actually put the, the Moticam on the microscope? Yeah, so you don't have to duct tape a Moticam onto the microscope. Yeah. That's my afternoon ruin then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
we have C-mounts for that. So when you have a trinocular microscope, you use this adapter. There are uh, different ones for whatever reason you need it. And, and you put it on the adapter in the trinocular microscope and you have the image digital and you can still look uh, through the eyepieces and uh, see the entire picture analog, let's say it this way. Yeah, I guess that makes obviously sense and it makes it easier because you can choose to use your camera and the binoculars. But I'm thinking, what if I had only a binocular model or even a monocular model? Like, am I still able to use a multicam? Yeah, that's right. You can use like, if you have an older or binocular uh, microscope that you're using, you can put an eyepiece adapter. So if you have like a Bino, you can put on one of these eyes the, the camera. It's really difficult then to, to watch for the other one with your eye, but you can make it digital this way, even if you have a monocular a school microscope, for example. So there's just an eyepiece adapter for this. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. It's just making me think about the video that we did with Reto, obviously, just talking in general about the digital digitalization. This word always gets me, but it's fine. <laughs> um, the digitalization of microscopy, because some people don't want to change their model for an integrated one. Um, they may be happy with their old style microscope and they just want to have the ability to digitalize the images. So with Multicams, we can really support them into uh, keeping up with technologies. Yes, indeed. And uh, I would love as a kid to, to have the tools that we have today, right? And to investigate the world around me, like, easier and more digital. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, since I were a kid, I would, I always would love to go on the beach and like collect shells and have a look at them. And I'm just thinking like, how cool would it be if I were able to analyze them through a microscope and be able to grab like, capture the the cool details of the shell even though i guess i wouldn't really have a way to put a shell on a normal microscope yeah um uh, we have macro tubes so you actually can with a, a battery pack and a multicam you can take the macro tube which is with you if you have like an, a wi-fi camera and use it just on the beach with your phone and capture images this way. That's a possibility that we also offer, right? If that's a challenge, I'm definitely taking it this summer. I and mean, you're gonna be seeing me taking photos of the shells with a microtube and a multicam. Cause it just sounds so interesting. And so it's, it, it's just so beautiful to see. Yes, indeed. Uh, and I, I hope I answered all your questions, right? Uh, and I hope that our viewers enjoyed this video. Well, I, for one, I would like to thank you because you kept up with all my questions. And I would just like to tell all our viewers to please leave a like. Don't forget to comment on our video if you have any questions for us. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.